Hey everybody, and welcome to uh, this week's Midweek Minute for Swissy Wednesday, September the 2nd, 2020. I'm wearing my Texas Rangers hat today because the Texas Rangers beat the Houston Astros in the first game of their series, and uh, that is okay with me. So anyway, uh, some people have been asking, how can we help with Hurricane Laura relief efforts? Now, many uh, people in Louisiana, eastern Texas, and, and around were uh, very affected by uh, Hurricane Laura. And uh, there's three ways we want to tell you about how you can help out with Hurricane Laura. The first of which is to go to UMCOR. Uh, UMCOR's website is what you need to do. U-M-C-O-R, UMCOR, uh, the United Methodist Committee on Relief. They are one of the jewels of uh, the United Methodist Ministry. Uh, we're a connectional church. Uh, we don't operate independently. We operate together, and we're better together. One of the best things we do together as a denomination is UMCOR. UMCOR are on the front lines of, 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 of help and service and support and relief efforts uh, in situations just like Hurricane Laura all around the world. Uh, both foreign and domestic uh, opportunities, and so uh, the the UMCOR is just—it's a great organization, great organization for Methodism, and it's a great way to get help where help is needed. So here are the three ways that you can do that. First, go to the UMCOR website, umcor.org, and uh, you'll see right there at the very beginning a banner, uh, a link that you can click for Hurricane Laura relief efforts. Uh, you can donate there. So that's one way to do, donate there. Or if you'd like, you can help uh, put together a hygiene kit. Now, uh, that's one of the things that uh, UMCOR does is they have churches or individuals put together these different kits for different needs. Now, in the past, we've done flood kits or flood buckets where we had items of bleach and, and uh, different cleaning supplies and things like that that fit in a big five gallon bucket. This time, uh, we're doing hygiene kits. They fit in a, uh, a Ziploc baggie, and there's certain items that, uh, that they need for these kits. Uh, a hand towel, a washcloth, a comb, toenails, fingernail clippers, bath size soap. This is stuff that when people have been, been, their homes have been destroyed by tornadoes or floods or anything like that, this is the stuff they lose and they don't have. So uh, UMCOR is able to go in and say, hey, here's some basic things to take care of your needs, maybe while you're at the, the hotel or at, at, at your uncle's house until you can get back on your feet. Simple, easy things you can do. So what we, what we encourage people to do is, what you can do, go on Google and uh, look up or search UMCOR hygiene kit. Okay, it'll be one of the first link that, links that pop up. It'll take you to the MCOR website and it'll give you a place where you can download a PDF that has this list on it. It's two pages uh, PDF here. Then go to the store. Um, it's, it, the value of this kit is about $12. So it'll cost you $12 to put one of these kits together. And then after you get those items together, um, follow the assembly instructions and uh, uh, put everything in there. There's some important notes and some packing instructions and all that. Put those together and bring the kit, the hygiene kit. You can make one, two, three, four, how many ever you want to make, and bring those to the church and put it in our mission barrel because that's our mission barrel emphasis for this month, our hygiene kits for UMCOR. Uh, now, this is a great project. If you uh, wanted to get your family together and do this as a family, that'd be awesome. Maybe as a Sunday school class, uh, maybe as a group of friends. Hey, you want to join me? Let's do some UMCOR hygiene kits together. Um, that's the that's the second way. So so you so go to UMCOR and give directly to UMCOR for uh, U.S. disaster relief. Um, create hygiene kits, and uh, you can get that information about hygiene kits off of the UMCOR's website. Or the third way that we're helping out UMCOR and helping out disaster relief, especially with Hurricane Laura, is that our our mission emphasis for the communion. Uh, uh, what are we calling it now? My uh, Dollar Mission Club. Sorry, my mind went blank. Uh, the Dollar Mission Club this month and all this quarter, actually, for the next three months is going to go towards UMCOR's United States disaster relief efforts. So uh, you can, on Sunday morning, this Sunday we have communion, you can uh, get an envelope and put your dollar in there and write on the outside of that envelope there. You can find those envelopes in the back of the pew backs. Uh, right on there, Dollar Mission Club, and we'll make sure that gets to UMCOR. 
uh, this week. So there you go. Three ways that you can help with uh, Hurricane Laura relief efforts and also disaster relief efforts in the United States. Uh, one other thing we want to tell you about is uh, on uh, Sunday we are doing communion and uh, we have, we're going to do it like we've been doing it uh, with, the, with the little uh, communion kits and cups and things like that. Uh, but we're also offering communion now by drive through So we know there are many people who are not comfortable yet coming to church uh, because of the COVID-19. And so we wanted to offer an opportunity for those who weren't comfortable coming to church to drive by the church or drive through. Uh, so right outside this window here is the big pecan tree by the church office. And uh, Pastor Tammy and I will be sitting underneath that tree or standing underneath that tree. And we will have communion waiting for you. You can drive on by, have your mask on. We'll have our masks on. And uh, we'll uh, hand you the communion and, and uh, pray with you as we start that, uh, our, as you partake of Holy Communion. And so those who aren't comfortable coming in person can still uh, have the wonderful experience of Christ's presence with them, His very real presence with them in uh, the midst of Holy Communion. So I hope that you'll come. If you aren't coming to worship with us, you'll at least come for that. Uh, uh, at least, let me say, if you're not coming to worship with us in person, we know many of you are worshiping with us, just not in person. But if you're not in person with us, please come by and uh, take communion. So anyway, listen, I'll let you go. Uh, take care. God bless. We'll see you later on.